السلام علیکم دس از می احتشام اینڈ یو واچنگ مائی یوٹیوب چینل ریلز دا لنگوا ایکسپرٹ آئی ایم دی ایکسپرٹ ٹرینر آف آئیلس پی ٹی او ای ٹی آئلس لائف اسکلس اینڈ ادر انگلش لینگویج پروفیشنسی ایگزامس ان دس ویڈیو وی گوئنگ ٹو کور اندر امپارٹنٹ لیکچر آف انگلش گرامر وچ از امپیریٹو سینٹینس نا امپیریٹو سینٹینسز آر آلسو کالڈ ایز ڈائریکٹو sentences or they are called subject less sentences because here in such sentences we usually do not use subject because subject here is implied or understood in the mind of speaker because he intends to convey that message across to someone who is specific and that is you so you will always be implied or understood in the mind of speaker this is why we call these imperative sentences as subject less sentences or directives now why do we call it directives because the use of imperative sentence is to refer to direction to commands or instructions to suggestions invitations wishes advice all these various intentions that the speaker has in his mind they can convey it across to somebody else and that would always be you so let's get to learn about imperative sentences one uh, point that i would like to add before i move on the examples that here we end imperative sentences either with the full stop or sign of exclamation and full stop is also known as period so let's get to first talk about few examples of each point that imperative sentence conveys so the first application of imperative sentence is to show commands or instructions whenever you pass on commands or instruction to someone you always use imperative sentence without you now here the sentence is stop writing this is the instruction passed by the teacher to his students that you should stop writing now or you must stop writing go to your work immediately start with this construction with the help of first form of the verb and after that you use extension there is no subject or no object in that extension you may have the object but it would be used with this formula verb first form and after that you're going to use extension so this is the very simple formula of imperative sentences in order to refer to command or instruction now let's talk about the second application imperative sentences also refer to request and here the formula remains same first form of the verb plus extension but here additionally you can add either please or kindly at the start of a sentence so here the construction will be please first form of the verb and extension here i would construct two of the examples the first example please do me a favor and the second one kindly subscribe to my channel so here intention is clear that you request someone to do something now let's get to have the third application imperative sentences also refer to direction now if you want to direct someone somebody ask for the direction you can actually pass on these directions with respect to this particular application of imperative sentence so you here can say a sentence that go straight and turn left now let's talk about the fourth application of imperative sentence imperative sentences also refer to suggestion or advice here the examples would be join the gym so this is a suggestion from someone to join the gym because they think that you should keep yourself both physically and mentally fit and in this respect somebody gives you a suggestion that join the gym and if it is the advice of someone who has the authority to pass on the advice so you can use a sentence in this regard that submit your assignment by tomorrow so now let's talk about another application of imperative sentences imperative sentences also refer to wishes and here we use 
exclamatory mark at the end of the sentence. So here the examples would be have a safe journey and wish you all the luck. So wish you all the luck and have a safe journey. These all two sentences come under wishes and when you wish someone, when you pray someone, you can also use the construction of imperative sentences. Now let's talk about the last application of imperative sentence and the last application refers to offer or invitation and here you can also uh, use imperative sentences in order to refer to invitation or offer. So let's get to have one or two examples of this application as well. Join us for a dinner tonight. And the second example is use my laptop. So in these two sentences, you refer to offer or invitation that you want to give to someone else. So I hope that this video is clear to all of you. If you still have any question with respect to imperative sentences, you may feel free to type your message in the comment box below. I will definitely respond to you. If, if you have liked my video, please, I do request you to like and share and also subscribe to my channel for more informative videos. Inshallah, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.